last seven years of the previous administration, so just about the worst breakdown of law and order that we had ever experienced as a nation. Grand corruption, <clears throat> theft of resources, exploitation and abuse of public office was the order of the day. Citizens, fellow citizens, this came to an end that day when President Hakai de Hichilema assumed the presidency. All those who were involved in these vices will be made to account for their actions through the legal and due process, due processes of the law. I shall repeat that. All those who are involved in these vices will be made to account for their actions through the legal and the due processes of the law. We at the UPND Alliance in government are determined to clean up the mess that was created by the previous administration. In addition, we would like to reiterate the message of peace and the reconciliation as stated by President Hitler. However, ours being a government of laws and not of men, we will ensure that all arms of government work independently and without interference, without political interference. For those who broke the law, the relevant arms of government will be allowed to carry on with their work of bringing them to book. The government that the Zambian people have ushered in as a result of uh, the last general elections will carry out its functions in a very fair and transparent manner. In President Tichilema's words, the road ahead will not be without challenges. But with a clear vision and a plan, we shall overcome and deliver on the aspirations of our people. Mr. Hitchlemer's government will count on the hard work of our fellow Zambians who have endured so much over the years and hence the decision to vote for the change that saw the UPN Alliance's ascendancy into government. We are confident we will score, especially with the unit of peoples which was demonstrated at Tuesday's presidential inauguration. Together, we will deliver to the expectations of the Zambian people. And the Zambians are right to welcome this nation to the servant and accountable and inclusive leadership that President Akain Hichilema has so often talked about. I thank you. <laughs> okay, we'll start with you. Uh, please, where you're from and your name. Thank you. I'm from Umsanda TV. What, I've got uh, two questions. Uh, number one is uh, there's uh, large condemnation over the booing that was done at uh, Hero Stadium, and the Alliance has remained quiet about it. Um, is there anything that you may uh, add a voice to it why that was done, or what's the way forward for it? And then number two, um, already calls have started coming in and people are asking, uh, the promise for free education, from uh, free to university, when is it likely to start taking shape? Any other question? Members of the press? Yes, sir. Your name and where you're from? My name is Adenon Moema from Millennium uh, My question is... Just say that again. Adenon Moema Millennium TV. Yes, please. Yes, my question is, uh, as an alliance, what are your expectations uh, in terms of uh, position sharing as uh, we wait for 
the president to announce his cabinet and uh, various government appointments. Okay. Please. You had your hand up? Uh, <clears throat> yes. Just want to find out... Where are you uh, from, sir, and oh, your name? Sorry. I'm Joseph Tamet Banda from uh, QL, QFM Radio. Uh, there has been some concerns from um, the former ruling party and its uh, alliance partner. Uh, in short, uh, the MMD uh, faction, alleging that uh, President Haka in the Hichirema is finding it difficult to move from his private home or residence into state house. What is the status of uh, Mr. Hichirem as regards to where he's staying at the moment? Are you previewed with um, such information as him insisting to stay at his um, private residence? So the chairman will take the first set of questions. He may be helped by any of the alliance presidents. Uh, from Sansa TV, there was a question about booing at uh, the stadium. Allow us to say that uh, we concede that was a sad situation, but it comes from a history that was sad as well. You know, when, when people are brutalized, you, will have to, you, you expect that they will react in one way or another. And I think that is what we saw. As an alliance, we, we feel that we could have done better, but it's difficult in an environment like that to be able to to control how people's emotions run at a time like that. So yes, we concede that we could have done better, but please do not forget the history from which this is coming from. And I think the lesson to learn as a country is that we should respect leadership, even if it's in opposition, because you never know how the Zambian people will decide at the critical time of elections. I, I would love to see for the future that our country, our country's handover, is actually a ceremony of excitement, happiness, Zambians changing hands. This group has led, now another group is coming in. But when there's acrimony leading to a change like that, it becomes extremely difficult to control people's emotions at that particular moment in time. So that's what we would say. We could have done better, we hope to do better in future, but please do not forget the history, where this thing came from. People had been brutalized, people had been hacked, people had been pangered if in such a way. And some of that anger expressed itself when they saw the head of state. We hope that for the future, we will avoid doing that to one another, because we are family. I think that would be our response to, to that question. education thank you I'll make a comment on um, uh, free, free education which has been um, pronounced quite a bit free education is a target is a goal which must be accomplished in order to get to that target there's a number of cleanups that we need to do. 